guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I thought I would share with you guys a couple items I picked up recently, um, three of them being shoes and the last item being a handbag and just a couple quick updates. Um, I recently picked up a new vlogging camera. It's the Sony RX100 Mark V. Um, so hopefully I won't be stuck filming in here on my iMac um, with really bad lighting. I um, also ordered one of those uh, Diva ring lights to help with lighting because filming in here I just look like, I mean look at my under eyes in here, they just look, I look sick all the time. So um, excited to be getting those new things and I hope it's going to be making filming better and easier and more viewable for you guys. So I thought we would just get into the review. If you're not interested in seeing uh, my purchases, please feel free to um, click off the video. And if you're interested, please stay tuned. And just a quick disclaimer, um, I'm not sharing any of these items with you to brag or to show off the items that I have. Um, all of these items I have saved for for a very long time. And they are treat items, not items that I buy very often for myself but I would like to share them with you just in case you're considering purchasing them. And um, if you're like me, I always search the internet and YouTube for other people's opinions and uh, wear and tear and things before I purchase um, items. So let's just jump into it. The first item I wanted to show you guys is going to be a handbag that I purchased from St. Laurent. Um, it, comes in a bag like this. It was purchased at um, St. Laurent Boutique here at um, South Coast Plaza that's located in um, Costa Mesa. So the bag itself comes in a box like this. And, and it comes with the dust bag like that. And this is the bag here. It is their wallet on chain. It's in black pebbled leather with the silver hardware and chain. It's a good size, I would say, like evening clutch. Um, I'm five foot eight and it hits me right at my hip when I'm standing. This is how the inside of the bag looks. It has a zipper compartment. Um, it has a lot of different compartments for you to keep like um, your ID and credit cards in. I have used this bag twice now and um, I've been able to fit my iPhone, uh, Chanel Compact, lipstick, um, some money, and it's carried completely fine. So here's the bag. It can also be worn as sorry, as a clutch, like so. And the receipt for it is here. With tax, I paid $1,670.13. Yeah, so I was actually, um, between this bag and another bag that I saw um, when I was vacationing in London, I was there visiting my aunt and my uncle. Um, it was a Louis Vuitton bag. It was I don't believe it was on a chain. I believe it was just like a clutch style. Um, the bag itself was, oh, it was beautiful. It was like a black patent leather um, with a great big gold um, LV on the front. And this is, oh God, we went in like May of last year. I don't even think now I could even purchase that bag anymore. I don't think that they make them. I think they changed the style um, on the hardware, but the price on that bag, it was a Lewis, I don't know the, the full name of the bag, Lewis something. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you can uh, leave it in the comments below. That would be so helpful. Um, but I want to say it was like over $2,300. But anyway, it was a beautiful bag. I was between buying that. I saw it. Um, sorry, I keep messing up my hair. I saw it at the Louis Vuitton flagship store in... Paris originally and then I saw it again in London 
Um, and we were in Paris first before we did London. So I'd seen it twice. I was on the fence about it. I thought if I still was thinking about it when I got back to the States and I would go and purchase it. But then in the interim, I kind of fell in love with this bag. So this is the one that I ended up purchasing. So that was my splurge from my, uh, my trip, you could say. Um, it's always nice to pick up something if you can when you're on vacation. Um, the room that we're, I'm sitting and filming in is kind of like our memento room. My husband and I, we always pick up some sort of trinket, whether it be um, a painting, which I'm sure you guys have seen um, on the wall behind me in my first two videos. It was actually a hand. Um, it was a calligraphy style hand painted picture that we picked up when we were in Istanbul when we went to Turkey. Um, really, really cool. And then on the shelving unit behind me, which you guys can't see where my iMac is sitting, um, we have trinkets from like all over the place that we've, we've traveled to. And that's really, really kind of cool to have. So the other, um, quickly, the other two, three things I'm going to show you are shoes. They're from Louboutin. The first ones are the Biancas. Ooh, they look like that. Um, they are 140s. They are in a 39.5 in the black patent. They come with a red dust bag, as all do Louboutin shoes, like so. Heel taps. And this is the shoe. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm getting used to filming on this. This. Uh, iMac. So this is what it looks like. This is the back view. Um, they are 140 millimeters. They do have a two inch platform. So I think it makes it equivalent to about walking on a four inch heel. Um, as far as comfort, comfort goes, they are incredibly sexy. Um, I haven't worn them yet. I have a boudoir shoot coming up at the end of April which I think I'm going to go ahead and wear them for that. Super excited. Um, let's see. The receipt for this guy is here. Again, it was purchased at Christian Louboutin at South Coast Plaza. Oh, dee -da -dee -da. Let's see. They were, the original price on them is $8.75 with tax. They were $9.45, so just under $1,000. They're an investment, but I feel like if you if you treat them well and you wear them um, sparingly, that they will last you a long time. They're a classic shoe. They're not going to go out of style. So that's the Bianca. And then the pair that I'm going to show you next is a pair that I probably typically wouldn't purchase for myself. Um, the original ones that I went in there to purchase were the Pigal Foley's. Um, they are cross between Socate and the original Pigal's. They are on a very thin stiletto heel like the Socate. Um, I went in to buy them in patent and black. Unfortunately, the boutiques informed me that they only carry their more rare or seasonal colors. Um, I believe when I went in to originally buy the two pairs that I was just talking about, they had a baby pink suede pair um, that I tried on, but I just, you know, it was it was a soft pink like my necklace that I'm wearing. I just was really feeling like I would really have to work hard at trying to find something to wear them with. I mean, I guess pink Louboutins you could probably wear with anything, but for myself, I would prefer to wear something more neutral. So they didn't have them. I was very disappointed. Um, but the sales associate said that she thought that she had a pair of shoes that would be very complimentary to my foot style, um, shape-wise, and my height. So the shoe that I'm going to tell you about right now is called the um, Decolette. It's a 554. It's 100 millimeter, which is just about four inches. And let's see where are we recording from here hello there's the box you can see the size I'm in a size 40 
Again, red dust bag. This is the shoe. It's in this beautiful nude. I feel like their nudes are more like blushy nudes than like orangey, yellowy nudes. But this is the shoe. Um, this is the underneath. That is the heel. It is pretty thin stiletto heel. Um, it's definitely as thin as the So Kate. The pitch is definitely not as dramatic on this shoe as say like a Pigal or the So Kate. The toe box is significantly longer. Um, I thought that that might bother me when I first um, looked at this shoe, but you know what? It's actually a really beautiful shoe on. Um, it's still sexy. You can still see enough of the red without like not being able to walk in them. I, to me, there's nothing worse than seeing somebody who's spent a boatload of money on a pair of shoes and they just look like a sea urchin walking around. They're like, you know, they can't balance. They look extremely uncomfortable. Um, I really didn't want to spend the money on a shoe and not be able to wear it as often as I chose for as long as I wanted. So this was a good choice for me. Um, no regrets on buying it. And then the last pair I'm gonna show you guys is actually a booty. Um, It was around Christmas time that I purchased these. I've worn them twice. Um, I did take them to a shoe cobbler to have them um, protected with a suede water repellent, uh, suede protectant, just because, you know, if you're somewhere else and you walk through something, somebody drops a drink on your shoe, it starts raining, or you want to wear them in the rain, you obviously want to protect the, the material. So that's what I did. Um, I also inquired about covering up the red bottom so it didn't get scratched up and just look trashy. In my opinion, they look kind of trashy when they start getting all scuffed. So um, I spoke with him. He said, you know what, just wear them one or two times and then bring them in and then we'll cover the bottom. So I will be taking these to him here soon. I don't plan on wearing these because again, it's like spring, summer almost. I'm not sure I'll be wearing suede booties in the summertime. I mean, I guess you could with a pair of cut off shorts if you wanted, but um, this is the, the boot. So their boots come with two separate dust bags, which I think is nice because they are booties and they take up space. Um, this is the boot here. It is a beautiful suede with a crocodile embossed leather buckle. This is a gunmetal gray textured um, buckle clasp which kind of gives it a little bit of more of like an edgy feel. Um, they are a soft almond or round toe boot. Um, this is the back. It's a chunkier heel. Again, um, I keep moving this in the wrong part of the camera. This is how the heel looks. So they're definitely walkable. Um, they're quite comfortable. I've walked across the parking garage in these coming from a restaurant to the car, no problem. Um, super beautiful shoe. These boots are called the, the Cavalita 100 millimeter and I got them in a 39.5. So that is, oops, over here. That is how the name reads. Okay. And then I purchased these at the same time as the Decolettes at South Coast Plaza and they were, the Decolettes were $6.75 before tax and then these Cavalitas were $1,145 before tax. So I got both pairs of shoes for just under, um, we'll say just under $2,000 roughly. Um, again, these are items that I saved up for, you know, these are not everyday purchases for myself. Um, these are items, like I said, I, I definitely saved for, and I purchased them because I knew I would get a lot of use out of them. They were not emotional purchases by any means. 
yeah, so those were the items that I wanted to share with you guys. And then just quickly, um, I thought I would give you guys a heads up for a up and coming, um, up and coming series that I'm working on that I thought you guys might find interesting. I thought it would be fun to do a wedding series um, just because I have a lot of experience in the wedding industry. I have been in the bridal industry for more than four and a half years um, full time. And then I also worked, um, I'll say 10 years ago, part time in the bridal industry. So I have a good number of years um, under my belt as far as understanding the ins and outs of bridal as far as um, wedding dress shopping. As you may have known or not known, I helped manage a bridal salon for over four years here in Orange County. Um, I was also our top sales associate in our boutique as well. And I really attribute that to being just honestly genuine and um, upfront and honest with my clients when it comes to selecting a bridal gown, um, you know, separating reality from, um, from, you know, vision in the sense that I feel like every woman in her mind has an idea of what she wants to wear for a wedding gown. But when you actually come into a store and you start trying on silhouettes, that reality quickly changes to, um, to something else. So I would really love to share my tips and tricks with you guys. Um, also some, some insight on how to maybe negotiate for a wedding gown. Um, there's always room for negotiations. Um, how to get the most for your money, what silhouette's best for your body. Um, what you can do with your gown after you wear it if you choose not to keep it. Um, how to do a budget, um, how to plan for a wedding here locally to where you are or destination. I recently got married. It'll be three years in November and I planned a destination wedding in Hawaii with the help of some amazing wedding planners. Um, but I planned my, my theme, my color scheme, everything that I did, I, um, I picked and chose things that were true to me. So I hope I can give you guys some helpful tips and tricks and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Again, thank you so much for taking time out of your very busy day um, and schedule to, to click on my video and just um, connect with me. I really appreciate that. And if you aren't a subscriber, it's your first time clicking on one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, guys, um, thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video.